cath lab. It is where all the cardiac related procedures take place. Now these doctors are some of our main prescribers of Candoc. Have a really good relationship with the staff, especially with this one tech named Carla. Hey, Carla. Hey, girl. How are you doing? Well, I am here. You ready for the big move? No, but this is my last week, so I'm bringing around my replacement, Jennifer, to meet you guys. And I told her to take real good care of you. Hmm. She needs to know who's big butt to kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be yours? Hmm. Smart girl. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm Carla. I run this place. Carla is your ticket in and out of this lab. You take good care of Carla, and your cardiologist will take good care of you. If you ever need anything, just call me and I'll be here. You know what? Why don't you go set up over there, okay? Look, Carla, I've got electronic blood pressure cuffs. You want one? A and D cuffs. That's the best in the market. Okay, nothing but the best for my doctors. <laughs> I have to go into room one to set up for surgery. Oh, you guys busy? Yeah, there's quite a bit of traffic here, so you should get a chance to talk to a lot of the doctors. Oh, good. If you want, you can come into room one when you're finished and count this as a preceptorship. Okay. So, how many preceptorships are you required to do? One a quarter. Are they really that important? Yes, they are great for a rep. Preceptorships allow you more one-on-one -on -one time with the doctor when he's performing specific medical procedures. And the doctors love it because they get paid more from the company. It's a win-win situation. Oh, Dr. Kennedy, hi. hi. Hey, listen, I have got an electronic blood pressure cuff for you. Oh, great, thanks. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Come on. She treats me like a stepchild. Now you're being dramatic. <laughs> oh, easy for you to say. Because she just loves you. You should have heard her just rave about you. You know she had the nerve to say that I don't have rapport? <laughs> but everybody in your territory knows your name. Yeah, well, I bet she wouldn't be saying that if she knew that I was sitting directly across from you today at lunch. What? Oh, yeah. She was practically staring at me in the face. Oh, you're lucky, Zach. That could have been your ass. Yeah, I know, but apparently she was too busy chewing on yours to see mine. Mm -hmm. 